on YouTube. It's your boy Big Play Ray with Get Results Fitness Group. And today I have a special guest on the video. This is Mr. Definition 01. I got a link to his uh, page in the description. You wanna say something, man? Hey, what's going on, YouTube? Nickname D. Everybody call me D. You see me around the gym, just approach me. It don't matter who you are, you got any questions, just holler at me. Um, Mr. Definition 01. Just now get some stuff out. Up and running, trying to make a trying to make a statement in the health world, health, fitness, bodybuilding. We're trying to cover all aspects of the gym. Yeah. I mean, me, Big Ray, we sit down, we bump heads, we pick each other's brain, we try to go at it, man. We try to give y'all the best of the best. Like I said, I'm just coming in the game. Um, professional bodybuilder. Started doing this in 07. Got my pro card in 07. So yeah. I'm gonna put up some old pics. Some old pictures coming up, some old videos gonna be posted up here in a little bit. Um, we're gonna do a lot of pro progress pictures and uh, we're just gonna go from there. So Yeah. And you probably seen them in my uh, in my video. I'll put a link right here to the video I did where I was talking about um, should you do a workout split or should you do a full body workout. If you remember that video from a while back, you know the link of that video is right here and I, I talked about them a little bit. But today we wanna um, talk to you about stacking. You know, I've gotten emails well, I mean, y'all already know, I get about 20 emails a day and there's just no way I can reply to all of them. But when I get that email and I read it, it's somebody talking about, hey, I'm about to mix basically dynamite with C4 and what do you think? I'm just like, oh my God, this man's about to kill himself. So I reply to that email, you know what I mean? <laughs> Definitely got to know, no, look, when you're stacking like that, they say stack it. I mean, if you think about it, you're actually throwing money away. Because number yeah. one, you don't know what's doing what, especially right. if you're stacking at the same time. So the best way to do it, buy a product, take it for the duration. See what happens, then if you don't like the results, or if you do like the results, you want to switch, switch to something else. There's no harm in that. When you're stacking stuff, you don't know what's doing what. And like my boy said, it could cause a chemical reaction if something yeah, goes wrong. Exactly. Um, some people, they might say they're missing No Explode with Super Pump 250. Why would you do that? That's two nitric oxides. They both do the exact same thing. Exact same thing. So mm -hmm. why would you right. mix those two? Like I got a couple of examples here. You know, this is 250. Um, this is a product expand. When you read the label, you know, it's like, oh, this one right here says it helps muscle endurance and uh, helps with energy. This one says it builds explosive strength. Yeah, I'm sure you want to get all that, but mixing them the two, that's not what's going to get you there. That's not what's going to get you there. So I say I want to get super soul in the email. You know, hey Ray, what do you think about cell tech and creatine? I was thinking about mixing those two together. I'm trying to get super swole, you know, and I'm just like, my super God, swole. like you trying to see yourself to an early grade, yeah, you know? Pretty much. You know, uh, you, you see all those, you know, um, you know, news articles about people overdosing on creatine and things like that. I mean, you know, creatine is an awesome product. You know, bar none, it's been around bodybuilding just about as long as bodybuilding has been existing. It's, years. Yeah, it's, years. A, it's an old school product. Yeah. Yeah. You know, there's lots of new strands of it and things like that, but as far as uh, stacking it like that, what really causes the problems is when you overdose on it. So that's why stacks can be very, very... I, me, you know, I got my weight gainer, I got my before and after working out protein, isolate, and then I have my occasional creatine. And that's it, people. That's, that's it. For, for, to get where I am, that's, that's pretty much been my recipe. I've never really, I've never stacked anything. So here's a creatine monohydrate, you know what I mean? And here's a bottle of creative hardcore. You know, somebody might say they're trying to mix those two together. Oh, I might take one before the gym and then I take the other one after the gym. You know, that's an example of a stack, you know, and that's not what you want to do. That's not what you want to do at all. And like you said, I mean, when you're mixing both of these together, I mean, like I just saying, both of these are pre-workout drinks. Both of these are pre-workouts. Okay. How much bigger or how big are you trying to get in the gym by mixing these two? How, how big you think you're going to actually get in the gym by mixing these two? And how I look at it, you are not growing in the gym. You're actually breaking down your body. So when you get to pump in the gym, it's not going to last whenever you get outside the gym anyway. For us natural bodybuilders, yes, I said natural. I'm not trying to knock anybody who do their thing. You know what I'm saying? You do your own thing. We do our thing. We want to stick to the natural side. You're going to get so big. And when you're in the gym, you get your pump on. You need to know what's doing what. You yeah. got to know what's doing what because that way you can take your notes and we can bring the information to you. Um, the creatine, creatine is good for all season. And right now I'm on all season. I'm at about 180 pounds right now. I just came off of a show, show season. Just came off of that. 
I took second place, natural show. We had about 14 competitors. To second place, um, I felt really good. Um, I'm gonna put some pics up about that. Um, let you decide who was placed what, but um, <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, I know what you're talking about. He <laughs> should have um, been number one, y'all. Hey, it, it is what it, it is. It was my hairline, man. He should have been number one. Hey, I just started, so I, I take my, I take my, how can you say, I take my, um, I take my lashes, so however you want to say it, and I get my, um, I get my ranking up, and then I bring another package to the state probably in August, I'm thinking. So I'm going to try to go up to about... August 2012. There you go. I'm going to try to go up to about 195, almost 200, and then I'm going to bring that down. And the only thing I'm going to usually take is going to be protein. Make sure you go high on your protein. you got to have your protein, eat your carbs. You can do carb cycling. Carb cycling is good. We'll get into that a little later. Right. I know a lot of people don't try to count carbs, but count carbs is good, especially if you're trying to go for a goal. There you go, guys. You heard it from Mr. Definition himself, and you heard it from Big Play Ray. You know, unless you're going pro-pro, you know, extra professional, there is no need to stack. You know, there's no need to stack at all. You can get what you need for a good protein, a quality protein, an occasional creatine. You can get exactly what you need. You don't need a stack to get huge. And if you're not liking your results, you just gotta give it more time. It takes time to grow quality muscles. You can't rush it. Hard work. Yeah. Hard work. You got a lot of information right here, people. You know, between my channel and his channel. Make sure you subscribe to his channel now. Make sure you do that. I mean, it's got like a lot of advice. This is one of the guys that's inspired me from a long time ago. I've known him for several years. I've been telling him to get his YouTube channel up, but <laughs> he's just not getting that YouTube channel. And I'm telling you, every video that he posts is going to be a mouthful of information that you definitely can use towards your fitness goals. So that's what you need to do. We will take all this information, grab it, use it, think about it, and then Store. go out there and get swole, people. Get swole. Get swole. <laughs>